Dan Lighty, and we were going up this elevator for the missile and space program. And this is the just a display of how cool the new look when they're going up the elevator. There's one. Hello, my name is Dan Lighty, and we're going back down the elevator to symbolize what's so sweet about going down the elevators. That is so sweet. It's probably a better video than mine. Well, this here is a compacted video of Daniel George Ignatius George Wakey and myself, Robert, John, John, James, Wallet, previously Thuma at the end, not anymore, walking out on the... I'll have to edit that out. No, stop getting it. We're filming. Oh, well. Of us, you know, going out on the, bill, the Air Force base of Wright Pat, as it's affectionately known by the locals, to see some really big planes that you can kind of see out. Oh, I can't zoom in. This is filming. How about that predicament? Oh, well. Here you see a nice Honda, possibly an Accord, I'm not sure, and a Toyota. Wow, look at all these foreign cars. These people, for being patriotic, sure don't like their cars American made. Oh, well. And uh, anyway, moving on, you'll see a sewer grate over there. Some uh, car driving, possibly scoping out the police to take us down, if you know what I mean. Some one of many terrorist plots that are trying to overthrow the, the military command of this Air Force base. Let's go. Dan, go. Cover me. Check down. <laughs> I hear noises. I think. Shh. Wait. This wing's been breached. We have to get out now. Uh, Shut off. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'm going on calm. Need to call for backup. What? All right. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, Rob Wallet and Dan Wykey here, ready to board the sacred, the cow. sacred cow. Yeah. Right. So, we're going to board go. Dan, head up the stairs, we'll capture this historic moment. Here we go. See this? Oh no. We have to board this uh, this very large, oh shoot, false step, uh, very large four, four engine four airplane. Engine. And we're going to, you can see, count them, one, two, trace something, all right. okay. look at all the great stuff in the here. cockpit Is visible in through the thing. Yeah. Through this hard, bulletproof glass. glass, ready to keep out any invader or terrorist that might come your way. Oh no, it's yeah. getting dark, I cannot even see. Dan, are you there? Oh wait, I'm wearing sunglasses. Okay, go on, move. Move. No one can see it. Move dark. now. The glass, I feel claustrophobic. Oh. I feel claustrophobic. Watch out for that fake panel, Dan. It's a killer every time. Well, look at this. Here we go. Sideways. We're going through a. Uh, you can see out there onto the main runway below the other planes as we make our way through these narrow, creepy halls. I wish I hadn't recorded what Dan just did. <laughs> More planes out the window as we turn another oh, corner. Uh, President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Tell us, Dan. No. Narrate. All right. This elevator enabled President Franklin D. Roosevelt to enter the aircraft easily. A victim of polio and unable to walk, President Roosevelt could remain in his wheelchair and be lifted into his airplane comfortably rather than being carried up the stairs. So pretty much President D. Roosevelt couldn't walk, so he had to go he had to use that down there. Now, Dan, you want to get me going down the stairs here? Okay. I'll have to All right. get down here. All right. Watch your step. It says it 15 times. No, don't throw the camera. All right, I'm going. Ah. All right, we've made it safe back. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Okay.